great lecture today. I remember some months ago, he came to one of our uh, branch. We are having Walima that day, and he had, because he saw the way our children are reading for <coughs> that very day, the he, the adult, he donated one thousand pounds for them. Allah for that matter. May Allah reward you abundantly. That's number one. I have two things. The two questions. Number one, most children in this London, they used to plate their hair. And I saw father of one of these children, I challenged the, the man that, oh, can you allow, you are part of this, not fat, you are one of the executives. How can you allow your child to do this? He said, Ah, don't mind those children, no, they read more than you even think because they said Prophet Muhammad and said, No, it is not the right thing. Maybe because we don't have much time that very particular day, because he did not even listen to me. I want you to be clear about this. That's number one. Secondly, I want you to enlighten us about our female children marrying to the Christian because I have that challenge in my branch. I was talking to one of the, the mothers. One of them told me that even for her to be coming to this as a lot, the fact that does not care either she comes or not. Not talk of the children. If the children mix in any Christian or even just the father will not mind and is he holds those children. So please yeah. I want us yeah. I want you to be clear about this yeah. and let us know. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Culture and Islam. Culture and Islam. Don't forget Islam is now a filter. Abi Islam will filter which culture is good, which culture is not good. Abi the culture of Filad Gobi, Ashufi. Islam did not filter anything. We can wear our thing. Hmm? The culture of, for example, Kindelini is in Kima Mami Wari. Mama Mi Wani Jo. Ah, you are Japore. You are Mama Mi Kutuma Juni. Turpe Ima Tima Juju Nati Kikiri. Then you ask of Mama Mi Kwe Akawakba Diti Kamala Tima Kabima Dina Kuni Kima Mami Maju Untong We can feta wala lela sa. So when the same mama is the one that will sit three hours, four hours making dua. Are you the secretary of Allah that will say Allah will not accept our salah because she's dancing? Uh -huh. So, plating the hair, not plating the hair. In our culture, if we see people plating the hair, what do we call them? The people of Shango. That's what we call them. Islam is going to be the filter. We are Muslim Yoruba. We are not doing Shango because we know the air born in Shango. We need Shango is a Muslim. Abi, we have moved away from that. We don't need to talk about that. But in this environment, the children here, and don't forget my message, no, my, my, part of my message is that you must make sure that your delivery of your youth development strategy is connected to the environment. In Atlanta, Georgia, it might be slightly different. In Houston, H-Town, it might be slightly different. In London, it might be different. In Kent, what is allowable might not be allowable in Greenwich. Not to talk about in Shomolu or in Oshobi. Because you are a global entity, you must start thinking that way. If you do not think that way and you have one one size fits all, then there's going to be a failure, right? So, is splitting the air allowed? Oh, yes, it is allowed in Islam. For a male child. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Okay. Why was it allowed? Because we've seen the affair in the Sunnah. The people who pretended that here were men. In fact, the Prophet did it himself. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. He pleated its hair into four. There's a clear hadith on this. There's no doubt. Boom. End of story. Now, the fact that Islam allows something does not mean we must do those things if they're not watching. No. My son came to me, Abdullah, and he's this tall now. And he said to me, Daddy, I want to play. I said, no, it's in my house. <laughs> ah, Orito Hakurani, see. Omawa, do you be so good? 
Ninu ran ta wa to ba gbe won jidide ni o le wa. Ile awon so gun they will misconstrue you for the idol worshiper. Look at that response now, Alaji. So please let us know how we are going to approach our children here. You know the children here, they are different from Nigeria. They have pumped them from schools. And the teacher who are pumping them in school, they will be kneeling down. Daddy, they will kneel down for them and say, please, do you want to take this? I want to feel, please, see. Ah, please, can you please sit down? Eh, please. You are daily. Yeah, you are so good. Who is going to see as a good or bad person? You will see the teacher as good. And that is why we are failing as African parents. In fact, there's one uncle. He beat the children with uh, belts. Otunika Losara. One now, what the belt? What is going on over there? We need the woman. If we go, hello, we need to do the woman. Therefore, we need to be careful how we preach Islam to our children. You know, we we'll go to a salat. La ila ila la la. This is our culture. Let them know the foundation of the thing first. There was a brother I saw here. I I, I don't know where he is, Doctor Abdulakim. He would do some uh, uh, waka. Do swaka, yeah, waka. Do swaka. Me, I enjoyed it. I wanted to tell him. I was thinking he's going to be here. Hey, what is going? Please tell him that I said that. Now he does some workers, and I enjoy those workers. But if we are doing that waka, if I do not train my children about poetry in the house, how do you think waka can make uh, sense to a child that does not even speak Yoruba? It's a noise in the hearing. Let, let us be fair to them, because if you are not fair to them, they have been trained to ask for their rights. Or they will keep quiet and come to me and say, Dad, my dad is an African dad. You know the way they think. They tell me that a lot of them. African mom. Look at look at my girls. The, the girls that I call my girls. Some of them will tell me, even when they are my their menstrual cycle, what they cannot tell their mother. You know why? Because I will listen to them. They know that Uncle Taufik will listen to us, then they will come to my house. And that is why when I go into your house, maybe I've been to your house to speak to your daughter or your dad that there's an issue, I will invite them to the group. Because once she comes or he comes to the group, I can do well in. Because my rent told you, my rent told find you, no one, my rent told my way to law, my rent told she said, no, 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 to worry my body. That is how to treat children in this environment. In Nigeria, we can just say, to, if you do that, I will do that. And that child will just act. Ah, and it will find it. But here, we just do that to you. And when he goes to school, the number one topic with his friends will be, you know what, I have this hardcore Nigerian African dad, you know, hardcore. I mean, I can Call. Africa, he doesn't understand. He sees you as not understanding. I'm telling you the truth now. I have been doing youth development in this country 20 years now. So please listen to me on this. I have been involved with the home office with youth. I work with non-profit non organization or youth development. I have social service people assigned to me by the home office to work with me, four of them, right now. So I know what I'm talking about. And I have sad to see many parents, they have, they have lost their children to fanatism of child development, which is against Islam anyway. Being too harsh on a child, not recognizing a child as a child, it is against Islam. I can give you enough evidence from the Prophet. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to honor a child. Abu Abdullah. Abu came up with my Baba Abdullah. Lack my life for How do you think that child will feel? That child will be, ah, he may not win Baba Abdullah. Ah, he may for I mean, not to be Baba. Oh, my, the self esteem will go up. The confidence will go up. It's different from what I tell funny, but tell funny, but you tell funny fatty. The machine is one year. I never be reason about. Salah, who are you? I never be recognized a child as a child. What we have in our culture that we must filter is that we disrespect somebody who's younger. That's what we do in our culture. That is not Islamic. We must filter it out. And that is not harsh. Let us filter. <laughs> Let us filter. Because he said to us, he says, It's not one of us. Al Kabir, the one who is older, the one who does not. Give honor to the young one. It's not part of meaning. It's not a Muslim. An elderly person who does not know how to honor. Tomo reba hapurani, for example. Ah, Allahumma anke baba mi. Allahumma gifiri la wura hamu. Eso kwe ah mi. Si baba mi fuku wa lai o heni mando for me. Baba mi. Yuni afa enle. Ah enle bo ni ba wole tuwa wumi. Ah so so wa delola. Oh ni delola. 
a olon da kun gbugbo gbe tin ba ku olon je wa nle gbugbo bi to ko wa olon si gba ede ki baba bi to ku mo ti to soko ayo please let us be careful your children they are they are human being they are a person you will see, and evidence is when you shout at a child you will see that child frowning their face immediately meaning of that is that shouting is against his nature that god has created you have disrespected him do not disrespect them do not disrespect them another evidence sallallahu alaihi wasallam he honors the elderly before the young and then when they bring something for him i mean popular hadith they brought the milk for him sallallahu alaihi wasallam he always starts his sunnah from the right abi bana bi bakin atapo tun yo ti bere oni bere nbi that we ba lo yo lo bere long yo kin atapo tun yabi tin kan ba wa loke tin kan wa sale ana bi o choose ni to wa sale abi uh, or he was saying the the, the 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 ground floor is better mm, there's another explanation for that sallallahu alaihi wasallam when they bring something for him he would distribute to people abi this day they brought milk for him there were elderly people that were sitting with him but on his right hand immediate right hand was a young boy where does he start distributing who is there a young boy he looks at the elderly people face and he, he, he look at the boy he look at the elderly people he look at the boy you know what he did sallallahu alaihi wasallam wallahi i give this example i don't use his name and i give it in the class those oyibo people they will stand up and they will be clapping like this after the lecture what do they call it standing something standing <laughs> something like that yeah. and they are not muslims and then on his right hand what did he say he turned to that boy he said can you please permit me to give the milk to the elderly people first before i give to you as a question allah wa alayhi wasallam he ali sallallahu alayhi wasallam so point only la ya rasulullah no i am not allowing you in our culture that is disrespect to abi in the culture of islam that is allowable why is he allowable because the prophet immediately gave the milk to the boy he gave him his right says the person allah wa alayhi wasallam culture our culture might not respect the young people enough my our culture might disrespect the young people we call it respect but it's not respect there's a difference meaning of respect you cannot tell me the prophet sallam did not know what respect is it, it will forever remain a confident person he will say ah, ah hey our we asked the prophet to give us me he gave us first he will be a stronger leader he would come with a personality that is outstanding so to you are so one of my principles i'm going to respect i'd already respected them how do you think that child would be disrespectful uh-huh respect they said is what it's a two-way thing my father has been respecting me how do you think i would disrespect my father so to you are meaning if that is cool plating the hair the boy who is plating the hair what we can say to him yes it is allowable but in our culture it is seen it's a sign of idolatry i do not want you to be seen as idolatry give him an alternative give him afro afro here teach him i teach my boys how to do it. in fact i buy the cream for spotting waves for my son i buy the brush for him when you brush it make it clean all my boys they will appear i said if you do spotting waves you go to school honestly the girls will not be resting <laughs> Because whether you tell him that or you do not tell him that, when he goes to school, is he going to see the girls or not? He will see the girls. Discuss that with your son, and that is why Ibrahim can come home and say that I need to talk to you. I said, "Why? No, we need. We don't want mommy to hear. Come out, come out." And he took me outside and said, "Dad, look, look. I got a letter from this girl. She, she said she loves me." I said, "Ah, really? Oh, who is the girl? Ah, let's talk about the girl. Ibrahim, I'm 13 years old. One collect her love from school. And you are saying we should not talk to them. If I have not been an accessible black father, do you think he will tell me that?" If you have been shouting and dating, he will now go with that girl and be a bad one. And I have many examples. Many mothers crying to me now with the relationship that their children are going to. Those th- the relationships are breaking them. Because a 21-year-old falling into depression is, is crazy. Out of relationship into a toxic relationship with a girl. If we have been part of that, we would have been able to help them choose. Are you with me now? This is different from 93. Those children are more secretive. Than Nigeria. Smarter than you in their IT, in the telephone, in the internet, surfing. They know more than you. When you are telling them what to do, they just listen and say, Mommy doesn't understand. So to you are, this topic is another day topic. Let's let's stop here, inshallah. Another question, please. Yeah, yeah. What what the what? 
The marrying the non-Muslim is the same challenge. Our children marrying non-Muslim guys. We have the same challenge here. A child, a Muslim girl, who has a little understanding of Islam. And this is a challenge for us. Maybe part of our 1% improvement that we can improve on is that when we come to Asalatu, we are coming to Asalatu. But Asalatu is dua. Asalatu is prayer. Prayer, Abi. Uh, let's include. I mean, we have been doing it. We include authentic teaching that will make sense to those children for them. Because if you don't do, they will go outside and look for it. Are you with me? Well, anyway, many women are here. We can bear the testimony. Their kids are, they won't come to us a lot. Anyway, because they see that something else. You know why they are doing that? They will still sit with Professor Naibi or Professor Badiri. They will, they, will, they will relate to them because they have a teacher who taught them cultural interaction as part of their sunnah. Whatever sunnah you want to practice, Whatever sooner I practice, every one of you be a witness. You have mentioned it many times that I have a good relationship with all my brothers. Whether you practice the sunnah or you do not practice the sunnah, I am no way practicing a judgmental religion. I am no way placing myself or anyone around me as a secretary of Allah, judging the servant of Allah. We do not. Our own sunnah is far away from that. Do what you know and do what I know. If everybody takes that away, then you will care less about what someone is doing that is affecting your life. You will see no people on the internet accusing themselves. You can see the Nigerian affairs. They will be abusing each other. Those affairs, you can see it is disgusting. Don't be disgusted. The way we do Rodu in Islam, it is the way we do it. The scholars, they still do it. Huh? Huh? In Medina, with Sheikh Muhammad Shinkiti, he wrote a Rodu to Sheikh Salim Ali Hilali in Jordan, in Marika Salalbani. It's your own. You can see envy, jealousy, all those crazy stuff. In between, they are one, Nisheni. Because I'm a Nisheni, what, what, why do I need to busy myself, my life, when they are not going to bury that person with me in the same grave? Abi? What can you tell me? Along with Nifa, Miss Lino Sari, the Quanu, into the Long Batin, you never tune your media, who see a doctor Tadur, Lodo, along, and we want to meet here. Therefore, the children marrying non Muslims, it is about Terribia and Islamia, two Chinato, Omayo T, Botta, or Hidi, Yetu. You know, this youth development strategy that I want you to write, Nasfat, as an organization. Alaji, one minute. Now, one minute, one minute. The the, the youth development curriculum that I want you to write, I want you to include a curriculum that is global. The understanding of Tawahid. And I want you to test them on it. Do they have, there are written books of Tawahid that many of our fast can teach. Make it book based. This is the approach that we use. And we use this approach because we have seen that this approach worked the best. It is the approach that the companions of the Prophet did. Many of them who are scholars, they did not even go to university. They learnt it in their houses with their teachers. Holistic process of Islamic knowledge acquisition. Tawheed. Understanding. But before all that, I know what Alaji wants to say. Please make a lot of dua for them. Because, 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 so can you come out Can you come out here? Can you come out here? Can you come out here? They prayed for us before we became what we became. So the strategies of the Muslims is here. The dua is here. So at the long, we do we have two more and then we go, please. Now, please, Bismillah. Now, Allah Jeff in Kakun.
We have been telling you, come and attend to our dream. Part of the lecture, part of the talk, part of the topics you are going to be taught is called Islam and culture. Islam and what? If you want a good discourse, you know, be challenging, you know, be disturbing our speaker. <laughs> One of the fundamentals of Islamic students is Al Adda to Muhakama. What do I say? Al Adda to Muhakama. Repeat. Al Adda to Muhakama. Culture is a source of law. Culture is a source of what? Law. In Yoruba land. If you do this to someone, what do you mean? Sheikh Nuruddin Lemu, may Allah be pleased with him. He traveled to Malaysia. The driver of the car in which he was traveling drove recklessly for another motorist. And he wanted to apologize and he did like this. Apologize. Apologize. We don't import fatwa. We don't do what? You need to understand our speaker way. Well. You don't import fatwa. The prophet wears 12 cards. How many cards? He was trying to tell you, trying to answer the question on your breathing for me. Truly. I read it that the prophet breathed his hair, but that was what was common then in their culture. The same prophet says, "Lahana lahu li matasabi hatu bi rijal na nisa, wa li matasabi na bi nisa hima na rijal." Allah causes any man who behaves like a woman, and any woman who behaves like a man. He has told you. Any man that plays here, what do we call them? Only some Any man that plays here in Nigeria or in our culture, he dresses like what? A, a man or woman? That's how the judge will do it. In, how the judge will judge. If I say that I will not step my feet into this hall, if I step my feet into this hall, I will fast for 30 days. And on the following day, I ride on the back of a motorcycle and I enter this hall. And they say, You saw yesterday that you won't sweat, sweat step into this hall. I said, I'm riding on the motorcycle. <laughs> In your what does he mean? Pay me the message. Did he kill me? That's how they told you to interpret it. The war attend you, that war. I was fasting one day. I was in Omora. So that you don't misunderstand our man, our scholar. You don't misunderstand it. Come, I don't know what a call of Bori, call of Come, I don't want you. For one day, I never did. There are things that he did because he was an Arab. He was an Arab. There are things that he did because he was a prophet. Twelve cats. He will advise, and the companion will say, what you are telling us, was it a revelation, or you are seeing out of your own foolish? I say, I'm just advising you. Say, I'm not ready to take your advice. Yeah. Hey, you want that? Yeah. There used to be a tree around Kaaba. When you, anybody the was say, uh, some come up, ah, scholar, why don't you go there? When you know the problem was accommodating, and he go to the other tree, he will bend down. After they have caught the tree, people are still bending down. Then we don't get our tree. 
on the phone, but I, I, and our brother has been assisting you, but you don't seem to wear cotton coin. I was on Umura one day. I went to eat, I, I used to chat with her as a little whenever I travel to Saudi Arabia. I was, I went to eat my sahuk. The Arab that I was chatting with the Imam, Matilo, Kilo, only Matilo, I went to Saudi Arabia. Kilo, I only date. I went to Kobe. There are things that he did as an Arab that lived in the seventh century. If he were to come here now, he would do it differently. If you are to be a normal man, we will not wear that beer. What will he be wearing? A wafunda what really? Oh my, 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 oh and the problem Brady is here because he was traveling from Mecca to Medina and he has a very long hair. And the hair will be dirty. It will not be, it will not be easy for him to plate it. And it was odd. And it was odd. He, he saw somebody planting. Planting. It was planting. He said, don't plant it this way. The man will remember that at this. He said, plant it this way. And everybody said, and he about going to be me. But the father, but the man went to water to her face. He said, he don't come out fine. Kilo day only prophet does the best. Ah, only Banabi. But did you say that? Only I said, oh, only what? Why you doing it in your culture before? Only we are not doing this because, but because you spoke, only go and do it the way. Let me drop the microphone here. Exactly. That microphone is about the culture. Ya wola o complete Banabi kwe o kongo ifun lobo. Ana bi ni go and pick a yema go. Only go and pick money from your pocket according to your culture. Ah, uh, look at it. Only the more according to your culture. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm so, on a final note, what is in the UK and in the US? Be careful in the US. You know why? Your children are mixing up with Arab dance. They're mixing up with Pakistan. They're mixing up with other communities. A Pakistani guy has a young guy in the back of the process. And when you ask him, he will say it is not power. And there's no text that makes it power. So the thinking and the approach must be different. And again, I want to say that. The approach we are going to use is going to be collaborative. If you are speaking to your children as a father here, you must be what? Collaborative. The children here, they will keep quiet for you. And then you get to school, you will now see a Bangladeshi child, a Pakistani child. If they want to see So, what will you do? They will keep quiet. And then say, you will come to us, and this you have given us the solution. The fatwa, be the can. You don't import fatwa. An Arab thing. You don't import the Arab people. They do this. They eat dates. Ah, that will fill me now. Let's take it. But when you are raising children in a multicultural environment, and your children are mixing up with white British guys who are Muslims, and their long hairs, their blue eye long hairs, they will ever to break their hair. Number one. Number two, it's a modern fashion for them. 
and they have researched beyond what we have researched. What is fashionable, what is not fashionable. Let him be here in his lab. In his lab. In our culture as Muslims, Nigerian Muslims, we will not allow our children to play their heads. But we are going to communicate to them in a way that will make sense. Don't go home and say to your child, you cannot play here in this house. Okay, my dad can find you. Just saying, I'm going to do this here in the University of Nigeria. I don't call up for you. I'm going to do that one. Plating the hair chef has become a challenge here. It's a challenge in our community. We cannot do anything to it. So, how do we do it? Because of the challenge we are having here. Assalamu alaikum. Those who are in my favorite government. Those who are in my village today, I told them, as a society, we think globally, then act locally yes. within the context yes, exactly. of Islamic principles. Exactly. Yes. Ergo, we think globally, then act, act locally better. without compromising Islamic principles. Yeah. And we would discourage our children from consulting internet to pick fatwa. Yeah. Because fatwa is not important. Yeah. Fatwa is not good. Important. Yeah. By the time they have their foundation knowledge and they meet any Bangladesh. And they tell him that in Nasfat, nobody to quote another your Quran or like this without giving us mere analysis. No, no. What is mere? That is. Anybody, anybody, what is mere? What is mere? Ah, as if you are saying you are doing. Like you mean? No. Any other guy can never do it with people in mere. Mere is M for many, I for implication, A for application. M I E. Mere analysis. No. Me, what is the implication of that tire? No. And what is the application? Only on your party with the vacuum, all over it. I want to have it and my best. I do not even know what you The opposite of our land, our opposite of our land is what? Let's see. Something may not be around. All the recommended. The body is around. Oh. What is the level of 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 the I'm quite sorry. Um, unfortunately, we have to move on. I'm very sorry. Um, they, they, I want questions on that. Yeah. No, no. So all the all the all, all, all those things we need. One minute. What we do is for the lectures about the acting. Uh, locally that NASPAT does acting locally you as an organization must understand the laws of where you are and how you are going to apply it then you are communicating with them afro is long ear buy him the cream spotting waves let him do waves waves is fashionable it's not haram and kotako so do not just say to him you cannot do breaks once you say that, that boy switches off. So, you know, about a color of it. Our team will not go now. Um, one of my, you are like a question when you're born. Allah. Church, you want to cook up. Allah. He said, you mean just one. I can see some of you are holding. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to appreciate Allah. I want to thank you. I'm quite emotional to ask this question considering the debate that's gone on. Um, the team of this conference navigating the current world, strategies and solutions for relevance and growth. The question is this the topic we just addressed culture and Islam. And we all know in our, in our, in our community, culture is our will be 
We are not allowed. They said it is the only way. I address a very difficult question. No, I deal with the community. I plead. I, I, I weep when I go to prison. I weep yes. when I go to prison. Yes, I, I weep when I'm at the magistrate court. For those reasons I was just talking about. But I'm going to pack that for now. Because those who don't mean to commit are forever remain under the disagreement. I stand firm on why I do. The point is that we women, whatever our education, whatever our level, we have to respect our culture. That is for us. And considering our Islam and culture, how do you encourage us, women of Nigeria, to be relevant in this community? Sure. We know what we have to be in part of it. There are several Nigerian LTA entities. When they don't talk to us, we have the agents, we have our prime minister. There are such a head. Where are the yoga? Where are the yoga? And this is why I want to say. This is why now, now, now you're talking to me. Now, thank you very much, Allah. May Allah bless you. Okay, guys, let's let's be let let's say allow Akbar for. Her. Okay, let's let's be another challenge for Nasfat Baba and Nawashir. May Allah honor you. Is that in the campaign that we do? Is that we want to produce politicians? Uh -huh. And you're recording this. Some brothers are like ah, Tofik of Salam is saying we should produce politicians. I am a politician myself. In the UK, all my bosses are ministers. Uh, so what's your problem? Am I going to say I'm not going to? I'm going to stop my halal income in my consultancy because you say I should not go into politics? She has mentioned something valid. I met Kemi. The I met, yes, Kemi is a solid woman. May Allah protect her. She's not a Muslim, sir. Powerful lady, Nigerian origin, and many many other people. And another friend of mine who used to be the Barack Obama of this country is no more in politics. But he's, he's, he's a solid guy. Then when you now go to Elton College, you go to some colleges, you find Asian children in those colleges. In Cambridge and Oxford, you find them there. You find few Africans. Why? And because we're not intentional. We're not what? We're not intentional. Can I see three or two, three parents who can raise their children at their hands that? You want me to mentor your children into politics in this country? Raise your hand and make sure you contact me. I have a forum for that right now. Say aloud, Akbar. I am training them into getting scholarship into top schools so they can go to a class called Economics Class in Oxford. That class breathes the future of anywhere in this country. David Cameron went there. Boris Johnson went there. Tony Blair went there. Why can't a Nigerian child go there when we have two people Parents who are paying fifty thousand pounds for schools, cash, they are paying it, yeah. But they are not intentional, they are not navigating those children to where they should be. The way I train three of my children or my mentees, two of them are secretaries to Labour Party in Sodok. Powerful lady. She wears a hijab. She has been on the TV. You probably would have seen her. Yetune. And Yetune is a Muslim woman. She is solid. I took her to Egypt. She spent six months in Egypt. Arabic is, is, is fast. She has Quran on her head. But, and she wears the hijab. She's a secretary with the English Labour Party in Sadok. She's on her way to that top level. And she will get there. What is your intention about the children of this community? And that is the challenge for the leadership of Nasfat. I want you to redefine. You've defined it already. Redefine youth development strategy. That we have a curriculum that is intentional. A curriculum that is what? Intentional. intentional. That we want to have 100 women by 2025 who are surgeons. We want to have. I mean, <laughs> you get zero. This religion is an action based religion. What you do is what you see. That God must be a destructive God. He must be a destructive God. If you do something and he said, I'm not going to let you see your outcome. That is a destructive God of Boko Haram. That is not Allah. Allah is the one, whether you worship him or you do not worship him, you make effort, you see results. So you, I mean, you have friends who are non-Muslims who are making effort and they are seeing results. You don't need to go and do an isogi in Abuja and say, Nigeria prays for electricity. God did there in here. Nigeria prays for electricity. The people that did the electricity that you said we and will pray. And Allah did not destroy their work. Are we are we here? Yes. So, parents, women, we have programs for women in Nigeria. We have orphanage who are who is focusing on only girls. In fact, my wife, my second wife, she's a Quran teacher and she's teaching. Uh, say Allah Akbar. Allah. <laughs> 